I would just like to apologize in advance if I say any Instagram or YouTube channel names incorrectly in this video. Anywho, on to the video. What up everybody, Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. Now, this is the January 2021 Newark Liberty International Airport update for you guys. Now, these routes were actually requested by you guys. Um, now, before I start, like I said, I just want to say that. And also, throughout the video, uh, the routes uh, that I'm going to be saying, like I said, is requested by you guys. And I will put credit to you guys, not only in the description, to your YouTube channels, uh, and Instagram video, uh, and Instagram profiles for those of you who uh, requested these routes, but I'll also be putting credit uh, during the video when I'm saying the routes. So yeah, that being said, without further ado, let's get started. Starting off this update, we have this Alaska honoring those who serve 737-800. He is loading up passengers for his flight out to LAX after coming in from San Francisco. This was requested by uh, one of my Instagram followers whose name is at fly underscore ALB. And two stands down the line from the Alaska Honoring Those Who Serve. Uh, on the left of your screen, you have a United 787-10 Dreamliner in the Continental slash Old Livery. Uh, he is loading up passengers for a flight out to Amsterdam after coming in from Tel Aviv. This is requested uh, by one of my Instagram followers, who also has a YouTube channel, but first I'll say his Instagram name, then I'll say his YouTube name. This is requested by at if.newark. Uh, that's his Instagram account, and his YouTube channel is AviationNJ. And then on the right of your screen, you have a United 757-200 in the Her Art Here, New Jersey, New York livery, or the Her Art Here, uh, New York, New Jersey livery, whichever way you like to say it. Uh, he is loading up cargo for a cargo-only flight out to Abbotsford Air International Airport uh, after coming in from Denver. And this was requested by one of my Instagram followers, whose name is at north underscore 49 underscore spotty. And for the last aircraft on the side of the airport, you see two aircraft, of course. Uh, on the top of the screen, you see a Spirit A321-200 in the bananas livery. Uh, he is loading up for a flight out to Fort Myers, RSW, after coming in from Houston, IAH. It's requested by one of my Instagram followers, whose name is at aviation underscore Preston. And moving to the bottom, uh, the last aircraft on this side of the airport is this United Embraer ERJ-175 in the Continental livery. He is loading up for a flight out to Los Angeles, LAX, after coming in from Chicago ORD. This was requested by one of my Instagram followers, whose name is at Liob07TRN. And moving on to the stands on the other side of the airport, as you guys can see, there are three aircraft, starting with the Spirit AT21 in the bananas livery at the top of your screen. Uh, he is loading up uh, just cargo, and he is heading out to Seattle, Tacoma, after coming in from Fort Lauderdale, and this was requested by one of my Instagram followers, whose name is at airlift.aviation. And then uh, the United 737-800 in the Blue Evolution slash New Livery that you see next to the Spirit AT21 uh, right here. He is loading up passengers for his flight out to uh, Jax, I believe it's Jacksonville, uh, after coming in from Punta Cana. And this was requested uh, by one of my Instagram followers who has a YouTube channel. Uh, his Instagram name is at JT underscore pilot underscore YT. Uh, and his YouTube channel name is JT Pilot. And of course, the last aircraft here at the stands on this side of the airport is this United 737-800 in the new livery slash blue evolution livery. He is loading up passengers for a flight out to LAO or Los Angeles Ocean View International, which is a fictional airport uh, after coming in from Jackson Hole. Uh, and this was requested by um, one of my Instagram followers whose name is aviation.dsm. Uh, sorry. It's either dot or underscore, uh, and his YouTube channel name is Aviation DSM. And here on the taxiway, we see this United 777-300ER in the new livery. Uh, he just arrived from Frankfurt, and he will be heading to the international stands, um, where he will load up for his flight out to SMT, or Seattle Metropolitan International Airport, which is a fictional airport that is run by one of my Instagram followers, whose name is at emf686 uh and also he has another uh instagram account which is his airport account which is the name at fly c met okay so i know that nobody requested this suit but i just wanted to throw it into the update for fun uh this is a cargo jet 767 300 freighter f uh he just came in from 
his flight from John C. Monroe Hamilton International Airport in Canada. Uh, and this was supposed to be just a regular cargo flight. He's bringing in supplies to build the apron, so paint, uh, tarmac, uh, tarmac, concrete, uh, you know, all the stuff for building the cargo apron. Uh, and after he unloads, he's just going to be sitting here relaxing for a few days, and then he will be preparing for his regularly scheduled flight out to Bermuda. Okay, so now that the airport update part of the video is done, I want to give you guys just an update on how the building on my model airport is going. Uh, so basically, I was in the month of December and going into January, I was able to uh, finish the aprons here. I still need to uh, write the gate number here, the stand number, but that's another story. Uh, and really, the design is still going to stay the same. I'm still adding a taxiway here, building a cargo apron. Uh, and they also decided to add some more grass onto some areas. Uh, for example, here where the cargo, uh, where the apron ends, uh, we're not able to fit any more gates or not a full gate. Uh, I'm deciding to put grass on the uh, fringes of the airport just to make it look nice. And then, of course, you have these grass uh, splodges, or should I say. Uh, you have those sort of uh, grass splodges right there. So, yeah, that really is the really only big difference um, that I decided to change in the design of the airport. Uh, but really, for the month of January, this is probably all I'm really going to get done, maybe this taxiway. And I might start construction on the cargo apron, but um, that probably isn't going to be the case, as I don't have a lot of cargo aircraft to work with uh, for me building the apron. But yeah, that was the uh, sort of airport update slash tour, and now let's get to the conclusion. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, uh, and drop a comment what you thought about this update. What do you think about my model report? What do you think I should improve in my videos? Uh, and if you want, go follow me on Instagram. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.